Hello, I'm Ed Tristan, and welcome back to Civilization VI pre-release as uh, the Queen of England. We are playing as the English Empire. It should be the British Empire. I imagine they've just called it the English Empire so they can go, look, we've got Scotland as well as a race. It's like, well, sure, you can have Scotland as a different faction. They were a different thing in a different time when they weren't part of Britain. But whatever. Anyway, uh, let's get going. I'm going to move you forward and grab this goodie hut. Pretty faith. Lovely. Um, and we'll move you over here. Okay. Next turn. Right. Lisbon. Hello, Lisbon. How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, we'll move down here. Doing good? Good to know. Uh, send a trade route to them. Yeah, we could do that, maybe. Maybe. Who needs orders? You do. You do. We'll move you into, like, terrain there, so you've got some defense bonus. And we'll move you south. Okay. Mm, yeah, we're good. Next turn. Oi. Don't reinvent the Hello. wheel. Just realign it. Wheels. Awesome. Right. Um. Now, if you're wondering if anything's slightly different from how we ended the last episode, I may have forgot to say that in the last episode and had to go back. Which kind of sucks. But hopefully everything is pretty close to where we left off. Right, I'll move you south. Right. Attack. And yeah, we're going to have to go back up here because uh, I do not want you to be alive and in my terrain. Okay. Research. Uh, well, we should probably grab sailing so that we can do the whole, um, fishing boat thing. And we'll need the, the Royal Navy Dockyard, which replaces the harbour. Hmm. That said, we've got bonus for writing, since it's boosted, so we'll move towards writing. Oh, the Germans are worshipping a pantheon. The goddess of the harvest. Uh, political philosophy advance. Ooh, nice. Hello, Jerusalem. What do you want? Recruit a great merchant. Well, that's not really close. Where's the tribal village? Oh, north of us. <gasps> yeah, we'll grab the next turn. Um, we've earned an envoy. Ooh. As the first major civilization to meet the Jerusalem city-state, you've earned one envoy there. Okay, that's pretty awesome. So, uh, envoys basically allow you to up your relations with them. And you get a certain amount, and you can improve them, etc. And you can decide whether you want to spread your envoys around, or put all your envoys in one basket. Uh, who needs orders? You do. You know what? We will try and track down that. I think we're okay down here with just one unit. Mm -hmm. I hate to do it, but actually, no, I think we need to go back. So we're gonna. Heal. Welcome to the United States of America. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. Hi. You've got a very impressive mustache. Um. On to meet you. We have a city nearby. Uh, yeah, I'll look at the hospitality. Washington. Hello. How you doing? Okay. Let's uh let's go south. Okay. I'm good with this. We can probably like own you. We just need to, you know. Figure out where we're... Ooh, one population? Nice! Figure out where we want to be nice or where we want to be nasty. I'm always in favor of nasty, to be honest, but it's just me. Simile lois, caelesti reglo, imperium tui late patet. <laughs> Optime. Are you flirting with me? My empire doesn't reach. Über vorsichtigkeit, sie gelobet, zu helfen diesem Reich, 
He's uh, dancing with them toes. I can hear any prudence. To aid that city state is to invite death. Oh, oh. Okay. They do not like the Jerusalem. Uh, we will head more south. Okay, we get to select a trade route destination. Uh, quite easily, the one to Preslav is better than if we went to Rome. Uh, you're a bit too far away for us to really get to at the moment, despite the fact you want a trade route. So, we'll go to Preslav. And we get production, we get, uh, gold. In addition to bringing riches to our civilization... This trade route will gradually develop roads between our cities. Roads allow our units to no longer be impaired by the difficult terrain through which they pass. Oh yeah. And we get knowledge of currency. So yeah, no longer do you really need to build the roads like that, that effectively trade routes do it for you, which is nice. Uh, right, what are we gonna build this time? We could do watermill. It does take 10 turns, but it will give us food and production. Each rice and wheat gains plus one food. We don't have any. Holy Sight, Stonehenge. Again, while well, Stonehenge is really tempting, it does grant us a three great profit. I think someone else might beat us to it because we have been, you know, moving away from that for a while. What are our yeah, plus one faith, etc.? We could go Holy Sight, but honestly, I'm going to take the plunge and try for Stonehenge. No, let's actually buy a tile. I'm buying there so we can eventually get the crabs. We'll try it. I don't think we're going to get it. It's probably a massive folly. Glorious Rome extends an offer of friendship. Sure. I'm okay with making a friend. That said, Without Rome is like two population there, like gonna be on us there a bit afraid of Germany. Mere reed shaken in the wind. Okay. So we can go um production towards builders. Production in all cities. Gold from trade routes. I'm gonna say that we don't need this plus faith, plus whatever anymore. Really. What we need. Let's just check religion. Yeah. We don't know anything about faith until we get a great profit. So what we need is to build that thing faster. To build Stonehenge faster, we need to put urban planning in because it gives production. Production towards builders would be nice as well, but... Uh, yes. Now, here's the thing. I'm thinking we buy ourselves a builder... Yeah, look, it's cut three turns off that. Um, 200 gold. And then we can use the builder to build stuff on, like, say, the stone and the marble, which will probably give us bonus production. Now, builders only last, uh, I think, for three uses now. They actually used to last forever, and now they're limited use. So let's choose civic as well. Production towards ancient and classical era wonders. I really do want to go for the political philosophy because it will give us our first uh, government. Oracle will be amazing. You know what? We'll go mysticism. We'll try and get... Ah, but we can't use revelation, can we? Because uh, that requires this, which is a, I can't remember what it's called, a different type of slot. We've only got uh, economic and military. This is a great person slot, I think. Hmm. Okay. Try and push our way that way. Actually, we'll move there, then we'll move there, then we'll move there. OK, 
Okay, you need these orders. Barbarian encampment. More barbarians, lovely. Ooh, coffee. Zanzibar! Good, a great scientist. Yeah, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. Ooh, he's thinking about the turn. He's thinking about the turn. People are punching each other. Goody hut! Who else needs orders? Uh, builder, right. We could build a quarry there. A mine, a mine. Yeah, it's got here. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. Oh, dear. Right. Attack. Okay, doing well. What is this? Spices! Didn't know that spices were so good for food. Okay, we'll stand united as friends as well. For now. Oh, you've got your first city I down. I do must Rome. feel happy in the good potter's hand. Okay. Technically, they're still alive. However, now they're not. And we get 45 gold. Nice, and a promotion available. Okay. Ugh. Well, I'm guessing we can go through Zanzibar. Right. Next up. Whoa! Eureka! Uh, knowledge of archery's improved. Eh. Okay, let's do our promotions. Uh, you? Combat strength? Hmm, yes, I like combat strength. Please don't wreck my trade route, Scout. Harald Sigurðarsson stendur fyrir þér. Aldrei var víking slík landsnjö lagar. Harald Sigurðsson stands before you. A viking unlike the season lands have ever known. Hard. Are you afraid? Uh, it's an honor to meet you. Sure, I'd like to see a nearby city. Oh, we are literally right next to it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. Both battling for the coast. Okay, right. Who else has got orders? You. Let us... Uh, build a quarry here. Knowledge of masonry has improved considerably. Good to know. Ooh, gypsum. We could be plastered. That was a terrible joke. Yeah, I believe that was um, our trade route being destroyed. You deserve that, but we're not getting our trade route back. Can we afford to, like, buy a trader? No. Like, a few turns, maybe, but no. Not right now. Uh, I would like to go back in toward my city, but I can't. Because you're there. Instead, I'm not going to move down. Yeah, 
Yeah, moving away. Good job. Good job. Rome? What's up theirs? Okay. Annoying, but sure. I'm going to go hunt that fool. <coughs> oh, pardon me. What will we find? Nan Madol. Trigger Eureka for irrigation. How do we trigger the Eureka for irrigation? Farm a resource. Okay. Farm a resource. Isn't that, I guess? Well, I, maybe it requires animal husbandry. Uh, I guess we need to do something like that. this tea <gasps> tea and tea is science value oh my god we totally need to get ourselves some tea it's a long way down from our main like city though but I'm feeling that okay uh, I'm just gonna put you on automate exploration for now And yeah, let's let's you manually move you for a moment. Ah, uh, great. I should have been a bit more cautious. There's a lot of tea there, though. I like the look of this place. I mean, you're probably going to set up your city there. Actually, you've probably got a, your main capital here, and this is your second city. Interesting. What is this? They're building Stonehenge. Oh my God! How close are they to building Stonehenge? I might need to go have a look. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, they have warriors there. All right, let's look at Stonehenge. I think we might be ahead of them. Yeah, we've got an upright. They don't. We're ahead of them. Okay. Move wood from the plot. You know what? It'll give us production towards Stonehenge. Do it. Notice how Stonehenge has suddenly got a lot more stones towards the outside. Thanks for keeping the peace on the continent. Bully, Bully for, for you. you! Thank you for that, Washington. Uh, Roosevelt. Goodbye. Though our population grows, there is little room for our newer citizens. We should find a way to add more housing to this city. Writing is easy. Okay. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. <laughs> uh, right, so we get the library and the campus district. We're going to just sit still for until healed. Attack you. Move you to here. You should be defended. Okay, so London needs more housing. We'll work on that in a bit. For now, of course, we're working on Stonehenge. Yeah, we're way ahead of them in Stonehenge, so we should be all fine. There shouldn't be an issue there. Technology tree, um, we'll go add more husband tree, that way we can trigger the boost on here, which will make all the city states like us. And then, I do think we make our way to celestial navigation. Ooh, okay, how are we doing after that? Not great, but we are fortifying till healed.
More tea. Oh, there's so much tea around here. I want it. I am Britain. I need that tea. Um, just fortify until he opens up. As for you, it's tempting to go plus one production here. I think we'll save you for now. <laughs> you sent a trade delegation. Enjoy the pecolino. Romano, the finest salted sheep's milk cheese you will ever have. Oh! Huh. Thank you. That's very kind of you. And that, I think, is where we're going to end the episode for today. So let's just move a few more units around, get the lay of the land. Like to the apples on the Dead Sea shore, all ashes to the taste. Okay. Thank you very much, Sean Bean. We haven't finished moving. Does the Dead Sea actually give anything? Uh, I like and provides plus two faith, plus two culture, and fresh water. Really? Okay. Units heal completely if they if they heal for one turn next to the Dead Sea. Ooh. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right. Who else has got orders? You do. Can't really do anything because we actually want to move you over there. Oh, yeah. We find the barbarian and highlight the need for strong weaponry. We get a boost towards Bron working. That's actually really tasty. And we will want you here. You attack them. Okay, and I believe we're good for the turn. So yeah, uh, if you like, please don't like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. The British Empire is getting stronger. However, we still need to figure out how to get more housing in London after we've got Stonehenge. I think we'll have Stonehenge, but that said, can't be sure. There are still people around that we haven't met. Until next time, when we're going to really piss off uh, the Vikings by not letting them uh, have Stonehenge. Whoopsie. Stay shiny.